you can never go wrong with a beautifully cooked steak with some roasted potatoes and some asparagus on the side. Guys, this is so delicious and so easy to make, and I'm about to show you how it's done. So let's get started. All right, guys, so these are the ingredients that we will be working with today. Don't worry, everything will be down in the description box. So to begin, we're gonna start with our vegetables. We're gonna get this asparagus all prepped up, ready to go, as well as these baby potatoes. I'm just cutting off the bottom end of these bad boys, just like so. Of course, everything here is already rinsed and cleaned up. I'm also gonna slice up these potatoes as well. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees because we will end up tossing these potatoes in the oven. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on these. And then on the screen you see, I have listed the seasoning blend that we will be using to season up these potatoes Also, oh, proper, guys. We can't just salt and pepper these potatoes. These potatoes gotta come out right. These potatoes gotta be precious, so we gonna season them up crazy, just like so. So once that's all said and done, you're gonna go ahead and transfer these potatoes into a oven safe pan. And we have our oven, like I said, at 400 degrees, and we're gonna let these go for about 20, 25 minutes until they're nice golden brown and looking oh so beautiful. Moving on, we're gonna be working with a sirloin, but of course this recipe works for any cut of steak that you get your hands on. So we're just rubbing a little bit of olive oil into these steaks, and we are gonna season it very simply with salt and pepper, guys. Nothing more, nothing less, guys. Just make sure both sides are well coated up in this salt and pepper. Now at this point, you wanna get your cast iron pan smoking hot. Get that thing sizzling, all right? And go ahead and drop your steaks right up in there. And you wanna get a nice, beautiful sear on each side of these steaks. In my opinion, and obviously you can see, I could have got my pan a whole lot hotter and I should have, but it's all good. We still gonna bring it all back in and we still gonna have a beautiful, delicious steak regardless of the sear. And don't forget to turn on your ventilator on the top of your stove as well as open up all the windows and doors because your house gets so, so smoky cooking these steaks, all right? So what I did here, just drop a little bit of unsalted butter. This is about a half a stick as well as, what was that, about six, seven cloves of garlic. You can use it, you know, as much garlic as you like. And I got my rosemary in there as well. And what we're doing, we're just basting this steak guys and you want to kind of cook it to whatever temperature you want some people like their steak rare medium rare uh, well done it's all up to you um kind of have a thermometer in hand and kind of pull once you reach your temperature put it to the side let it rest moving on in that same pan we're going to go ahead and cook up this asparagus what i did was drizzle a little bit of soy sauce on top of this asparagus nothing not much needed for this you know what i mean just let it go for a little bit i don't know about three four minutes or so give them a toss here and there and you're pretty much ready to plate up i'm gonna go ahead and slice into this beautiful sirloin and plate up guys it is so 
so good so full of flavor ready to eat ready to go all right and do not forget to drop that butter from the pan right on top of your steak just like so guys this is a classic simple dish right here you have your steak you have your asparagus you have your potatoes so simple but yet so delicious guys this is a wonderful recipe and i know for a absolute fact you will love it and i can't wait for you to try it out i will see you on the next video guys deuces